Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today we're going to do a DIY with these jars. Now you probably can guess, we're going to be decorating some soap dispensers. So I actually ordered these from Amazon and this is how they came with this kind of jar with the pump lid. Now they're actually 6 dollars for two, which I thought was quite good. But when I got them home, I didn't like the front as much as another jar that I've got. Now I think this came from somewhere like Home Bargains. They're the mason jars. You could also get them from B&M and places like that. And I really liked, you probably can't see, but I really like the pattern on the front there. So what I'm going to do, um, I'll link the, the um, link for these down below, just in case you wanted to look for those. But I'm going to take the top off this one and use this jar, which will be absolutely fine to do. And you can, if you've got some of these jars, just buy these pump dispenser parts so if you've already got some that you want to use this is just like a standard lid size and you can just obviously swap them over and use them on whatever jar you want so these are the ones we're going to be decorating i'm going to save these because just pop the lids on those because they will be fantastic in the kitchen so i'll put various links down below just so you can see what you want to do so we're going to start and we're going to decorate this. So we're actually going to paint the main part of the jar. So to do that, we will take this top part off and I'm going to paint it just using ordinary chalk paint. And I'm going to use the French Chic and it's the wedding cake from the Lazy Range. So this is the paint that I'm using and I'm just literally going to go straight over the top. It will need more than one coat, but we'll um, pop it on, we'll let it dry, and then we'll go over it again. It will need at least two, possibly three, but we'll just see how we go. Um, you might be able to see the, the pattern on the front a little bit more, but I thought we could probably just distress a little bit of that and just wet, um, distress some of the, the pattern off. So that's why I wanted to use these ones. Um, so all I'm doing going around with this I will paint the bottom as well fully um, and then we'll do another coat and I'll be back with you both of these are dry now so I've left them a day just because I was doing other projects so I uh, just completely left them to dry they had three coats in the end now what we're going to do um, with this raised part here we're going to distress it slightly uh, you can use wet distress so like a wipe or something and just sort of rub over it but with this this paint feels quite dry so I'm just going to grab some sandpaper and then very lightly I'll tell you what I'll put something under here let's just put some paper underneath just to catch some of the bits we're going to go over the top with the, um, the sandpaper and that will take away some of the paint and just sort of leave a different kind of effect. You just do it with sort of various bits over the raised section. And then on there as well. You don't have to do loads, but just pick it up. So if you can see, I think that looks quite good. Make sure you sort of get a little bit of it all, with every little bit, if you see what I mean. Just do a little bit more there. Okay, that looks okay. Now we're going to decorate them with some napkins, and I've got a couple of napkins here that we're going to use. So when we went to, it was in Ebony's 18th birthday actually, we went to a little like gather of shops and they had an Emma Bridgewater shop in there. And I picked up these napkins, I don't know if you remember them from the video, and I thought these would look super cute dotted on. A little bit of a different design and I also thought I would use this napkin as well, which is similar to what I normally always use. So I thought we'd do kind of two different styles just to give you a bit of an idea really what you can do. So what I've done is I've cut out some of the circles. So if I just show you, 
obviously these dots are quite small and they're quite fiddly so a little bit of a tip that i've found is when you cut them out leave a tiny little gap around the edge so it's a really really thin little bit of white that goes all the way around because i tried to cut it dead on the um the color and i couldn't get it so it looked dead on and it was really noticeable when i kind of held it up against this so when you cut leave a little bit so I'll cut out quite a few and just pop them in this little tub so it's really quite therapeutic i just sat and watched 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 watch some true crime on the uh on my phone and just chilled and cut these so it's quite nice so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer these onto here using glue now you can use pva glue if you want to that's been watered down probably two parts water and one part pva but i've got some of the matte finish which i'm going to use so you'll see me taking off the, um, the ply of the napkin. It's quite delicate stuff. And uh, we're just going to stick them on using the glue. I've got my matte finish and a, a brush. So all we're going to do is just pop a bit of glue. That's probably too much. And pop them on just like that. So we're going to put them around so they're kind of uh, just so it's dotty, really, I suppose. But as you can see, you can't see the tiny, tiny little gap that I've that I've left. I just think it looks better than um, having a wobbly, wobbly dot. So it's just a case of very carefully gluing those on and I'm going to stick all of these on sort of randomly around the jar. So there we go popped a few dots all the way around there. I need to leave that to dry now and then we're going to pop some sealer over the top. So we'll just leave that to one side and I'll show you the other one. Now I'm going to do this one a little bit florally and I've cut out some flowers from the, the napkin that I've shown you. And just obviously again peel it the same and we're just going to pop some of these on the side I've got some butterflies I've cut out as well which I thought would look quite nice so we'll just put this on the side here I'm doing this because it will go in my bathroom so I'm going to keep this one and then can you see we've got that kind of effect I might pop a butterfly down here, I think. Let me just take the back off this. I think it would probably help if I um, separated the plies first before I started gluing them on, because then you can sort of pick them up quite quickly. Put that on there. You can see it's building up really quite nicely isn't it I think they look quite pretty I'll pop another butterfly at the top on there that looks quite cute I think that bit's come away down the bottom So I think I'll maybe pop this one round the side just to sort of move it around a little bit. Um, but I'll finish decorating this and then um, we'll leave them both to dry and then we'll pop a top coat on. So now we're going to seal them and I'm going to use some of the Polyvine 
wax finish this is the uh dead flat finish so it's not going to have a shine to it and i'm just going to put a couple of coats on so i'll do one coat i'll leave it and then i'll pop another coat on after you know one to two hours it recommends that you leave it for and this will also make it waterproof obviously this is going to go into the bathroom so it will need to be waterproof as well these are all dry so all we're left to do is to pop the um little pump thing on the top now you can decorate these in whatever design that you want anything that will suit your home and your decor obviously this is the emma bridgewater the spotty one and then we have one here which is more floral with roses and butterflies on as well but anything that you feel suits you is great but hopefully i've inspired you to have a go and um you know it's a really easy craft to do it's really nice you say you can do them for your decor you can also do them for presents as well but just one note of a warning if you make the emma bridgewater ones and you want to sell them using her napkins then i'd probably get permission from her first if you're going to actually sell them but if they're just for yourself i'm sure that's absolutely fine but there we go that's it for me i hope you're all keeping safe and well i hope i've inspired you to have a little go at a craft that you've maybe never done before or if you have just something a little bit different you take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.